You think of production and you think of competitiveness. That guy competes on every snap, whether he's throwing it, moving around in the pocket, Three, calling three. plays, you name it, he knows how to rally a team. A carry for Devontae Freeman, who missed most of last season. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. And these are the guys we're about to see down on the turf in just a moment. Joe Staley, the left tackle, one of the most respected players in the league, as well as one of the most talented. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. All day, just like that. Just like that. Throwing now is Breeze. And Watson has it right side. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. Quickly now, a look at the defensive starters for Minnesota. Dante Hightower is a guy who can play the run with the best of anyone in the league, but he'll fool you a little bit in pass coverage. Not so bad there as well. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Breeze. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Here we go. Here we go. So here come here the go. Vikings as they get set for their first drive. They'll be led out by the third overall pick in the 2008 draft, the man they call Matty Ice, quarterback Matt Ryan. And they said he would be a gym rat coming out of Boston College, and nothing has changed, and his play continues to get better as he rallies his team. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Yo, 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 yo. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. He's got his all pro receiver, Michael Thomas. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second half. Now a first-time Pro Bowler from a year ago, Lamar Miller. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Four yards on the dump off at second down. And the offensive starters for the Vikings. And the running game is headlined by Lamar Miller, the veteran out of the University of Miami, who gives you tough inside runs and some speed to burn when he gets into the open field. He's the only player in NFL history with two touchdown runs over 95 yards in his career. On second down, it's Miller. Miller with first down and more. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. And they'll run it from the gun with Miller. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. No score after one on EA Sports. Now on second and 13, Ryan, slant route, caught by Edelman. 
A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Miller. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Well, these two teams, the Falcons and the Vikings, have met 30 times since the Falcons' inaugural year in the league back in 1966. And the Vikings winning 19 of those games, but maybe the most memorable game between the two was a Falcons victory. That was in the NFC Championship game back in January of 99. Gary Anderson missed a field goal to potentially win it at the end of regulation, and then the Falcons would get the victory in OT 30-27, to and they were off to the Super Bowl. Now on second and 13, Ryan. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 12-yard line. First red zone chance now for the Vikings. It's first and 10 from the 12. From the shotgun, Ryan. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the 1. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Lamar Miller. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time. And he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! A five-yard touchdown as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go, let's go. And here now come the Falcons. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The veteran Jimmy Smith there on the coverage. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. On the draw, this will be Freeman. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. The Vikings gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. But that's complete, it's Watson. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Marie's now on first down. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23 on offense as we begin the third. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because 
Now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards there. First down. Ryan to the offense with a first and 10. And he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. Play action. It's Ryan. Over the middle. Open is Thomas. And out across midfield down to the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. To throw again is Ryan. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 25-yard line. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. A shotgun handoff now to Miller. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Ryan, this will be caught at about the five. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. He oftentimes makes people miss because that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keep the hope alive. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. To throw again on second down. Breeze. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 15 yards on the play, first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quitting him. Zero. The throw over the middle, taken in. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. 
And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 699. Breeze now on first down. That is caught at the seven. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Adrian Peterson scoring a touchdown against his former mates as his guys are back within a single score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play. But it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Important extra point up and through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run by Adrian Peterson. So just under two minutes to play, and this would figure to pretty much be your ball game right here. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. At the 39 yard line. Tenth carry now for Lamar Miller. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. 